five minutes piece. The children were having breakfast. This was not a pleasant sight. Mrs. Lodge took a tray from the cupboard. She set it with a teapot, a milk jug, her favourite cup and saucer, a plate of marmalade toast and a leftover cake from yesterday. She stuffed the morning paper in her pocket and sneaked off towards the door. Why are you going with that tray, Mum? said asked Laura. To the bathroom, said Mrs. Lodge. Why? asked the other two children. Because I want five minutes of peace from you lot, said Mrs. Lodge. That's why. Can we come? asked, Les asked Lester as they trailed up the stairs behind her. No, said Mrs. Lodge. You can't. What shall we do then? asked, asked Laura. You can play, said Mrs. Lodge, downstairs by yourselves and keep an eye on the, on the baby. I'm not a baby, muttered the little one. Mrs. Lodge ran a deep hot bath. She emptied half, of, half a bottle of bath foam into the water, plonked on her bath hat and got in. She poured herself a cup of tea and lay back with her eyes, eyes closed. It was heaven. Can I play my tune? asked Lester. Mrs. Lodge opened one eye. Must you? she asked. I've been practicing, said Lester. You told me to. Can I please, just for one minute, go on, then sighed Mrs. Lodge. So Lester played his, he played Twinkle Twinkle Little Star three and a half times. In came Laura. Can I read you a page from my reading book? She asked. No, Laura, said Mrs. Lodge. Go on, all of you, off downstairs. You let Lester play his tune, said Laura. I heard. You like him better than me. It's not fair. Oh, don't be silly, Laura, said Mrs. Lodge. Go on, then, just one page. So Laura read. She read four and a half pages of Little Red Riding Hood. It came, in came the little one with a trunk full of toys. For you, he beamed, flinking them all in the bath. Thank you, dear, said Mrs. Lodge weakly. Can I see the cartoons in the paper, asked Laura. Can I have the cake, asked Lester. Can I get in with you, asked the little one. Mrs. Lodge groaned. In the, in the end, they all got in. The little one was in such a hurry that he forgot to take his pyjamas off his pyjamas. Mrs. Lodge got out. She dried herself, put on her dressing gown and headed for the door. Where are you going now, Mum? asked Laura. To the kitchen, said Mrs. Lodge. Why? asked Lester. Because I want five minutes of peace from you, Lot, said Mrs. Lodge. That's why. And off she went downstairs, where she had three minutes and 45 seconds of peace before they all came in to join her. The end. We hope you enjoyed that video. Please like and subscribe.